to me, music is more than sound and art. And it's, it's expression, it's a feeling, a channeling of an energy that, that, is, that is a part of you. And, and actually for me, when I think about music, the most incredible thing is, is actually to be able to get to the point with music where the music can play you and where where it's not about moving the fingers a certain way it's about how it feels to get an expression translated through the instrument speaking through the fingers the sound is coming through in that way but all of it comes from the heart and it's it's about love and unity with the instrument Sitting outside to me is really fulfilling to meditate because it's connecting with the inner consciousness and you know, moving above thought and not allowing any of those extra things in life to get in the way. It's interesting because doing that more has made me recently able to get into that space within music where it's not about thought or the hands moving the music. It's actually just this energy that radiates within me and transmits through the guitar. I just want to live my life every day in that way, whether it's through music or breath, or conversation, love, interaction with people. Music has been an incredibly inspiring and life-changing experience for me. Um, I, I first heard this amazing piece called Sunverse, and, and when I heard that piece by Andrew York, I, I discovered that anything is possible on the guitar, and ever since then I've, I've focused my, my energy completely on music, and of course with, with a little balance in there, that's, that's really important, right? <laughs> Um, so, you know, ever since then, I, I've been really focusing on on classical guitar for three years, and then started going into jazz and songwriting, and and then um, I had never actually seen anybody do the double-handed finger style guitar where you do the tapping and all the really percussive elements. And uh, I saw this amazing guitarist named Andrew Gorney do it, and. Um, it inspired me to take a whole new approach to the guitar and incorporate the styles of other instruments such as piano and drums um, and even bass and how to create orchestrated sounds through two hands and usually guitaristic things are to kind of strum and play the, play the guitar in a traditional way so I wanted to kind of take a different approach by seeing if it would work being played like a piano by using the fingers on the neck and actually drumming on the guitar and, you know, just do something a little different. So recently I've actually discovered that you work really hard to end up playing with your heroes. I am um, thrilled to have been, been working with an amazing cast of musicians that they um, had the opportunity to play on stage with Tim Reynolds a couple times and my favorite guitarist in the world. So that was just a thrill to be able to interact with him musically on stage and feed off somebody who has inspired me so much. Um, and I also just got to record with Jeff Coffin, and both of them play a Fringe Day Matthews band, and um, he's also a huge influence for me. So I, I feel especially inspired to be working with these people, and 
mostly been just playing up in, in New York and uh, Philadelphia area. And then I was down to Florida, so I'm just working those three markets mostly right now. And just loving it because there's different crowds of people and you know, everybody responds in, the, in their own way and just want to travel all over the world and share music with as many people as possible. It's, it's my peace and happiness and I want other people to feel that too. Rocket. <laughs>